And a good spiritual morning to you once again. I'm Father Cosmas. Thanks for joining me today for a quick chat and, of course, our morning cup of coffee. And in a couple of days, we celebrate the 4th of July. thought for this week I would do a couple of videos just thinking about that a little bit. And for this one, just talking a little bit about the good old U.S. of A., right, America. Because I was blessed to travel recently for a couple of weeks, I was out of the country. And so I developed a wonderful appreciation for America. Now, don't get me wrong, it's wonderful to travel. And you get to see, you know, ancient civilization, especially if you go to Greece, which I was blessed to do. And so you go to Greece and you see these, you know, ancient things, things that were there, you know, 2,000 years ago or more. And you sort of realize, wow, in America, our history is a couple hundred years. Um, and so you take advantage of that. But very, very quickly, you sort of get homesick. You start to realize and appreciate just what we have here in the good old U.S. of A., some of the, the wonderful amenities that we have here in our life, especially when you visit Greece. It's the little things. Um, you know, when it's 95 degrees outside, air conditioning can be nice. And people said, oh, Greece is totally different. I haven't been to Greece. I hadn't, at least for 30 years or more, actually. And people said, you're not going to recognize Greece. It's totally different. And I said, oh, great. So everyone doesn't smoke anymore. Well, no, everyone still smokes. There's an entire country of people that haven't heard of lung cancer. Everyone smokes all the time, everywhere. You try to sit down and enjoy a meal. Ten people are blowing cigarette smoke in your face. And if you happen to be sitting in an outside cafe, a diesel bus is going by on one side of you while people are blowing smoke on the other side, and you miss the United States of America. And I got there and I sort of said, uh, so have you guys solved this whole can't flush toilet paper thing yet? Because I remember that was a thing 35 years ago. And they said, no, no, you can't flush toilet paper. I said, okay, wonderful. I miss the United States uh, a little bit. So, of course, it's beautiful. Of course, people are wonderful. Of course, we love going there. But there are some things you can miss about the USA. And it got me thinking about the spiritual life. Same thing. This idea that we are blessed and we tend to focus on the negative. Right now, especially in the United States, people are really focusing on everything we do bad, right? We're, we're doing all these horrible things. We focus on the negative things, and it's easy to get wrapped up in all of that, whatever the issue might be for you. Oh, it's terrible here. Is it? Go someplace else and really see what terrible is. This is a wonderful place to live. We're very blessed. And the spiritual life, the same thing. Life is tough. Life is difficult. We can go through struggles and challenges, but we have so many blessings. And so it's important to focus on the blessings. Focus on the positive things. In fact, when you're going through something difficult, when you're going through a challenge, emotional, something tough in your life, the best thing to do is to just take a minute, sit down, and make a list of all of the beautiful things you have in your life, of all the things that God has blessed you with. Because half of our relationship with God is asking for things in prayer, but really the other half is supposed to be about thanking Him for the blessings that He has given us. And if we focus on being grateful and we focus on gratitude and we think about the blessings, that helps us when we're down and we're low, when we're struggling to carry that cross. We can say, yeah, this is going wrong and that is going wrong and this is going wrong and that's why I smoke and that's why I drink and that's why I use drugs and that's why I gamble and that's why I'm depressed and that's why I use pornography and that's why I'm angry all the time or I curse or whatever it might be. But the reality is, is if you focus on Look at all the beautiful things I have in my life. Look at all the blessings I have. And if you look hard enough, you're going to find some. Focus on those things and say, wow, I really am blessed. And I'm struggling, but everyone's struggling. And I'm okay. And I can make it. And I can push through that. It's a matter of sort of recognize, yes, yeah, of course, things could be better. The grass is always greener. But um, we are blessed. And we should count those blessings so that we can get closer and closer to Christ and do that each and every day. Amen.